Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Chris Winter and in this video, I'm gonna show you a few of the Wi-Fi features you can use with your Canon ADD when you connect them to your phone and also your computer. Now guys, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out my top 10 list of the best lenses for the Canon ADD. I'm going to quite a lot of detail explaining which ones would be good for you and why. So if you wanna check it out, I'll put a link in the description box below. But anyway, let's take a look at a few of the Wi-Fi features on the Canon ADD. So let's take a look at a few things you can do with Wi-Fi on your Canon ADD. So we're gonna open the Canon Camera Connect app. And then as you can see, there are three options. You can look at the images on the camera, you can do some remote shooting, and you can also change the camera settings. So what we're gonna do is first, look at the images that we've taken. So you get a list of all the different images that you've taken. And if we click on it, you can actually see these are the images that are stored on your SD card. We can turn that around and pinch in to zoom. And if you really like a photo, what you can do is click save. It's gonna ask you if you can access your photos. Click okay, and that's saved now to your camera roll. You can also star a photo, and you can also delete a photo if you don't like it. So we can jump back right now, and we're gonna go home. We're gonna take a look at the remote shooting. Now, let's click open remote shooting. And as you can see, you're actually getting a live feed of what is on your camera right now. So if I move this, you can see that it's very, very responsive. And is in fact, one of the best Wi-Fi feeds I've ever seen from a camera. So what we're gonna do is turn this onto the side so we get a bit of a better view. There's a few dif different things right here that we can do. We can start a recording by hitting the red button here. And you will see that it's now recording. We can also change our focus, which is quite cool. So if I drag that over there, you can actually see that what it's gonna do is now change the focus. Now it's not as responsive as using the touch screen on your actual camera, where you can see that is incredibly quick. You really kind of have to press your finger down and then it'll slowly but surely go into focus. Now, of course, we can change a few different settings right here. If we press this button right there, we can change our shutter speed to make it a little bit darker. Now, if you wanna see a bit more information about what's recording and what settings you're in, you can hit the little I button at the top here. And what that's gonna do is show you all the different settings. So I'm using auto white balance, I'm shooting in 60 frames per second, and I'm shooting in MP4. Now, one other really useful option that a lot of people don't know about is that if you double tap on where you want it to focus, you can actually get a zoomed in preview. I didn't know this until I accidentally double tapped. So if you really wanna make sure that it's all in focus, just give it a double tap. And if you wanna get out of it, double tap it again. So if you wanna be able to change your settings even more, you can actually connect your computer to your Canon ADD over Wi-Fi. So we've got the EOS Utility app open and we can actually hit remote shooting. As you can see, we've got all of these options right here which we can change. So we can change our shutter speed, our aperture, you can change your ISO, pretty much every setting that you wanna be able to change. But the great thing is when you hit live view shoot, what you actually get is a full view of whatever your camera is filming. Now it's not as responsive as your phone, but it's still pretty good. So let's just close that up a little bit right here. Now, let's change a few different settings. So we'll change our shutter speed, and we can change our aperture. Let's bring that back. And then we can also change our ISO. Now there's other different things that you can set, change as well. You've got your picture style. So if you wanna have it in black and white, or if you wanna have it in portrait, you can also see that there are a couple of different options specifically for filming. We've got our sound recording levels, which is really important especially if you're in a studio or something like that, you can see that whenever I talk, my levels are being displayed right there. Now there's another cool thing, you can actually change your focus simply by dragging the little square right here. As you can see, that just went into focus. So it's actually really quite powerful. Now at the bottom, there's actually a few different other options which are pretty cool. You can turn on your level. So if we move our camera right here, you can see that when I put it down, that's gonna be level right there. You can turn that off. Then you can actually also zoom in to make sure whatever you're shooting is in focus and you get a really, really good view of whether or not things are in focus. We'll hit that back 
and there we go. And of course, once you're happy with all the settings that you've now changed on your computer, which is pretty cool, you can just hit the little record button down the left here, and you can see now on your Canon ADD, it's actually recording. So you can pretty much control everything using Wi-Fi now on your computer. So there you go, that's a couple of the Wi-Fi features on the new Canon ADD. It's actually pretty impressive and I've been using them quite a lot. Now, I've actually made a couple of tutorials on how you can set up Wi-Fi on both your phone and also your computer. And if you'd like to see them, you can click the link right here and it will take you to it. And guys, also make sure to check out my top 10 list of the best lenses for the Canon ADD. I'll put a link in the description box below under this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.